welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Anna I am the Anna behind this YouTube channel as well as the Anna behind Anna's crystal shop so I know I have been saying for a while in my videos as well as on the Instagram live sales that I will be doing an updated haul for you guys and finally I have come around to being able to sit down and film this for you guys so first I wanted to give a big big thank you to you guys because this shop wouldn't be possible without you and we had such an amazing new year a lot of new crystals a lot of new crystals for me as a crystal seller as a collector oh so you guys I've added so much to my collection and I know I'm so sorry I've been saying for the longest time that I was gonna get this video up for you guys both in my videos as well as on Instagram lives but finally I am able to get a chance to sit down and film this for you guys I am taking about a month off so I will be back by either mid late January early February I just wanted to take an extended time it is the holidays a lot of us are spending it with loved ones and to be honest the three years in business I actually have not taken a month off ever I think the most I've ever done is maybe two three weeks but I've never taken more than a month off but it's very much needed I need to rejuvenate recharge just like you guys need a pause on always buying crystals but anyway so I finally have had a chance to sit down and do a video for you guys and I'm so excited to show you guys all the new crystals in my collection but again I just wanted to say such a big thank you to you guys I know there are a lot of shops that are closing down because they're either not getting the business the economy is kind of not doing so well so honestly please know that I appreciate each and every one of you because honestly without you guys this wouldn't be possible but I know a lot of you guys started watching me when I was a collector and I do want to stay mindful and truthful from my roots and where I began so of course every once in a while I do want to show you guys the new crystals that I add to my collection so this will be kind of like a year that I did two years ago of where I show you guys how I display my crystals so it's kind of gonna be like a display haul but also I'll kind of point out some of the new crystals that I've added to my collection if you want to see a separate video of me just showing the new crystals that I added to my collection please let me know because I know it can get confusing because I put it in with the collection that I already have so I know some of it might get confusing because it's all kind of into one on my new crystals on my old crystals so if you specifically want to see a video of just the new crystals please let me know and I can definitely get that up for you guys but I'm gonna stop mumbling and let's get started and let me show you guys all the new crystals that I've added this year Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I actually went ahead and did is I invested in a bigger shelf. If you guys saw my previous crystal collection, I had a much smaller shelf. But as you guys can tell, the collection has grown so much, so I really did need a bigger shelf. So we are actually in my living room area. So previously, I had some items by my TV and on my coffee table, but I actually went ahead and consolidated everything into this one large shelf. Now, now this shelf was definitely an investment piece I'm not gonna lie to you guys it was really expensive but honestly extremely worth it because it fits all the crystals so well and it looks so amazing in the space so again I did get rid of a lot of the crystals that I had like on my coffee table and on my stand on the TV stand and I consolidated them all onto this one shelf so we are gonna browse the shelf because there are a lot of new crystals that I added so I kind of have it organized a little bit differently some shelves will have just spheres and towers others will have just a certain type of crystal so that's kind of how I arrange mine so that's why I love doing these updated tours for you guys so you guys can get some inspo and see kind of how I arrange my shelf and then it also gives folks kind of inspo to arrange theirs so let's start at the top so our first shelf here on the left hand side I have all of my pyrites so I have a cube a skull as well as some beautiful clusters that that I got in this year then towards the middle shelf is my pink amethyst collection so I have my slabs I have my cubes I have my hearts some towers some raw slabs and unpolished I just absolutely love pink amethyst you guys know me so I had to dedicate just one shelf for the pink amethyst and then as we make our way these are all of my beautiful crystal trees I get them from Delia who does have an account on Instagram I will link that down below and then I also do have 
have a small collection of these yawny bears as well as buffaloes and I just felt that it fit with the trees it just made the most sense to me so they are with the trees then as we make our way down I have all of my towers so kind of on this in between middle shelf is where I dedicated shapes so I have all of my towers here as you guys can see I have added to my tower collection specifically these absolutely gorgeous rose quartz and golden healers personally I know a lot of you guys are a fan and I have become such a fan of them so I have added a lot of those to my collections these are just some nicer towers that I really like I also have another shelf that I'll show you guys in my office with towers as well this is just what I have in my living room and then making our way towards the middle this is probably one of my prized shelves this has all of my citrine items I have a lot of free forms on here and a lot of gorgeous faceted pieces this is definitely my most expensive shelf just because of the quality of the crystals as well as a lot of it being citrine pieces also so recently I really have been invested in these beautiful faceted shapes so I have my diamonds I have the faceted flames here and then of course the gorgeous larger diamonds I'm so excited because I am getting citrine in these type of diamonds also it is on the way it's already in the mail so I'm super excited to add that to my little diamond collection I also have my asteroids here again this shelf is just specifically dedicated to a lot of my faceted more fancier more expensive crystals crystals and then as we make our way I have another shelf dedicated to really beautiful spheres I also have a sphere shelf in my office as well you guys will see if you remember watching some of my previous hauls I had a huge shelf that I had in my bedroom so I actually have gone ahead and moved that to my office but a lot of them also have like a sphere section a tower section you guys will see I have a lot of crystals I am definitely not a collector that only collects big crystals I like to collect crystals of all variety. So these spheres are like, again, fancier spheres. So druzy amethyst, some citrine spheres, some beautiful lavender rose quartz, blue rose quartz, sunstones, moonstones, ocean jaspers. I also have a little collection of shivas and high quality palm stones here as well. So I do have some sunstone, some lapidolite, as well as some moonstone pieces. And then I do have one random green fluorite freeform. I just really love the look at it with the shivas and the spheres. So that's kind of why I have it on that shelf. Then as we make our way down, this shelf is kind of, again, a more expensive shelf, a more raw piece pieces so I have some fire agates, some opals, some tourmalines here. I also have some laguna agates as well as just some smaller carvings. And then over on the right hand side, I do have a lot of my gorgeous rainbow obsidian. So I have different carvings. I have hearts. I have free forms. And then as we keep going to the raw side, I have some raw clusters. This is definitely all of my raw clusters up here. This is kind of the beginning. And then it kind of goes into this section where I have all of my flames as well. You guys, I am so obsessed with this flame shape. So a lot of these flames, I actually just recently added to my collection this year. Let me know if you guys want a video of just specifically the new crystals that I have in my collection, not necessarily the layout because I did add a ton of new crystal. A lot of these clusters are also from new items that I had this year, the vanadinites, some gorgeous fluorites, some beautiful citrine with tourmaline some kundalini citrines i also recently added this gorgeous dioptase to my collection and you guys i am so obsessed and then the middle of these flames and clusters i also added a really large gorgeous zebra calcite zebra onyx tower i was just absolutely obsessed with it and i needed it as you guys know i don't collect a lot of big specimens i have some big statement pieces here and there but that is not all of my collection i know there are a lot of shops who just kind of keep the big statement pieces they don't really bother keeping a lot of the smaller things and clusters i personally love crystals of every shape and form so as you guys can tell we have such a gorgeous collection going I just I can't I know I'm such a hoarder when it comes to crystals but to be honest you can't be a crystal seller and not be a bit of a hoarder so then we have a lot of our raw specimens and then on this shelf I designated it for my crystal 
Skulls. If you guys saw my previous collection, my Crystal Skulls actually were on the shelf in the bedroom that I had before. But again, because I got the larger shelf, I was able to spread them out more. So this baby is new as well. She is my big citrine statement piece. I am obsessed. I also added some little citrine skulls from the citrine skulls that I had in the shop before. And then a lot of these guys you have already seen before. I just absolutely am such a fan of skulls. Skulls are one of those things you either really love it or you're not into it. Another new item in my collection are these gorgeous water opals. As you guys know, I did start collecting water opals this year. I also did have water opals for you guys in the shop and I did keep some for myself. So I found this cute little jar that had either cotton swabs or something from Marshalls and I ended up just emptying it out and putting all my opals in there just because I really loved the look of them. And then as we make our way down, I also do have a lot of carved crystal animals. I actually love animal carvings when it comes to crystals. So I do have quite a few pieces. The quartz piece with some of those beautiful birds. I have a marble bird as well as again a quartz and jasper bird. I also have some malachite elephants, some rose quartz and quartz birds as well as a moonstone elephant. And then as we make our way down I have a lot of my bigger statement pieces over here on the bottom shelf. So that shungite buddha, the amethyst and pink amethyst heart. I have my different um, lady bodies in different materials and then over here I have a lot of my amethyst and agate collection so the amethyst and agate cathedral pair is new as well as that agate on stand the rose quartz bowl so I have added a lot over this last year and then of course the first huge amethyst that I have ever purchased in my life like my first cathedral is over here on the floor and then over on the left hand side I have the newer cathedral that I added as well as that beautiful druzy pink amethyst on stand. So here is one more quick scan of what I have out in my living room and you guys honestly this investment piece for the shelf was so worth it just because again I'm able to fit so much and as you guys can tell I do have some space and even on the shelves that I do have crystals on there's still some space so I'm so excited about that because honestly the other shelf I had before was overflowing. I had a lot of the statement pieces that I have on the bottom shelf on the outside of the other shelf that I had because there was just so much and those shelves were so packed and to be honest they were skinnier as well so they didn't fit as much crystals as this one did. Also if you guys are curious I will link this shelf down below. It is on Wayfair. That's where I got it from. Just so you guys know it is an investment piece. I think it was around like $900 and that was on sale. It did take me a while to save for it but honestly worth every penny. I love the aesthetics and the look of it. So as I mentioned in the living room, we don't have anything on the coffee table or on the console. I did have some things on my TV stand before, but I did end up getting rid of that just because I did get this big shelf. So it just kind of made sense to put everything on this bigger shelf and I just love the look of it. And then let me show you guys what I keep at my front entryway. So here is the front door and the crystals that I keep right by it are some beautiful black tourmaline pieces, an amethyst angel as well as a polychrome jasper flame. I just really love how the jasper flame looks. Amethyst in general is an amazing quartz piece. So to have amethyst by your doorway is just something positive to let in love and light as well as make Make sure you have some black tourmaline by your front door as well as your back door. Black tourmaline is amazing for protection. So I highly would recommend black tourmaline in front of all your exits and entrances into your home or apartment as well as somewhere in your workplace. And then I also do have a little Lumerian piece. I'm not sure where I got it from. I think it might have actually been a freebie from one of my vendors and I just keep it here because again I love the way it looks. But that is all that I have for the front entryway of my home. So now let me show you guys the crystals in the office. So now we are in the office. So if you guys remember this shelf, it might look a little familiar. This shelf I 
actually used to have in my bedroom, but I ended up moving it over to my office because I recently worked with a Reiki healer and she was mentioning that having so many crystals in a space where you sleep is just not the best idea. Unfortunately, there are a lot of crystals that do hold on to negative energies. So if you're going to sleep or if you're having a conversation that's a little bit negative or depressing and you're keeping all these crystals in the same room that you sleep in, it's not really healthy. So when I spoke with her, we actually decided the best course of action to kind of clear my space, to clear my bedroom where I lay my head, is to actually move this shelf that I had in my bedroom. But you guys, if you've seen my shelf, a lot of it has not changed. A lot of it is still the same. I still have some beautiful pink amethyst at the top, as well as some free forms and clusters. And then as I mentioned, I also do have towers and spheres on this shelf. So just like I have towers and spheres in my living room, I have a ton of them on here as well. A lot of smaller towers that I'm absolutely obsessed with and just cannot part with. And then I also do have some more spheres here. These are some more of my smaller spheres. So they're not as big as some of the big ones that I have in the living room, but they are just as special and beautiful to me. So they are on this shelf. Actually, a lot of the items on these shelves are some of the first crystals that I ever got, believe it or not. A lot of the items that are on the shelf in the living room are a lot more of the newer crystals that I've brought in and as a crystal shop but a lot of the crystals that are on these I actually got when I first started out in the crystal community and I started just as a collector so this shelf is very special and near and dear to my heart because, because a lot of these crystals are some of the first crystals that I ever got and that just kind of started my obsession with crystals that then grew into a love for crystals that then grew into this shop for me so I am so thankful for a lot of these crystals that I honestly cannot part with them. So again, here is the sphere section. I also do have some pyramids, some really gorgeous and hydro agates, and one beautiful polychrome that I got my first year as a collector that I can never part with. So in between my towers and spheres, I do have one of my favorite shelves on this shelving system. These hold all of my gorgeous high quality fluorites, as well as a lot of Laramore items. So I have a lot of Laramore spheres, slabs, as well as um, hearts and moons, some Druzy agate clusters, and then the rest are kind of one off. So I have an aquamarine on muscovite, and then the rest is all fluoride items in a range of slabs, cubes, as well as clusters. You guys know that I love my fluorite, so my fluorite collection has really flourished over the years. When I first started collecting fluorite, I did collect a lot of kind of low quality, you know, the dark purples and greens, but then when I got into blues and the higher quality, you guys, my collection expanded. I also do have just a collection of some gorgeous higher quality fluorite towers, so we do have a lot of fluorite in the collection. And then as we keep going down, I do have one shelf for just, again, raw pieces. So a lot of clusters, a lot of caves. And then as we keep going down, I do even keep like minis, you guys. So I have a ton of tumbles and minis and palm stones. And then I do have a small collection of hearts as well as some different shapes. I have an ocean jasper flame that I will never part with. And then just some fun shapes, some stars and moons. And that is my shelf that I have in my office. And then as we make our way from the shelf, I do have some crystals that I keep on my table that is part of the live sale table. So that gorgeous citrine flame, a beautiful quartz singing bowl. These wings are actually new. They are a gorgeous Giracel rose quartz wing set that I just could not part with. So I had to keep it for myself, but don't worry, I did get some wings for you guys. Those will be part of some of the new crystals you guys will see next year. And then of course, some gorgeous citrine items. And recently I've added these gorgeous lucky frogs or toads from the Chinese culture, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Okay, and then here we are in the bedroom. I'm not going to show you guys too much because a bedroom should be a sacred space. But as you guys can tell, the shelf that I had in the office used to sit right here. So as I mentioned, working with the Reiki healer, she mentioned to not have so many crystals in my bedroom. So as I mentioned, that shelf that was there is now in the office. But I do still have a few pieces in my bedroom. This gorgeous Celestite and Druzy Amethyst Cluster I am absolutely obsessed with. I also do have some 
some pink apophyllite and some flower agates right here. I do have a gorgeous onyx bowl as well as an onyx dish and then a pink amethyst candle holder. And then let me show you how downsized my collection is now in my room. So this is all that I have in my room. These are just some of the gorgeous pieces that I have kept. So it is an agate tower as well as an agate this and amethyst flame. This is one of my first pink amethyst pieces that I have ever got before. Oh, you guys, I even have the haul video of when I got this in. She will always be my prized pink amethyst piece. I don't think I will ever let her go. This is the pink amethyst that started my pink amethyst obsession. So she will forever have such a place in my heart because again, this was one of the very first pink amethyst that I ever got in my collection that started the obsession. A beautiful rose quartz Buddha, some black tourmaline. This is a beautiful Amazonite egg from Russia. And then I also do have a lavender rose quartz up and here. And here is the very small collection that I have literally right next to my bed. These are just a small little collection of crystals that I really love and enjoy. A really gorgeous citrine piece, a beautiful Super 7 tower, a green adventure in elephant, a cherite, and a shelite palm just to help me with some sleep. And then of course I have a shungite phone holder just to help with the radiation that are from cell phones because I do keep my cell phone by the bed. And that is pretty much all the crystals that I keep in my bedroom. Again, as I mentioned, I have to get rid of that large shelf so this is pretty much it for the bedroom area so that is all that i have for my collection video for you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed i'm so sorry it took so long to get up but i do hope that a lot of you guys are spending the holidays off and get a chance to see it again i love making these videos i love showing you guys and kind of showing off the new crystals i got just like when you get your own crystal mail and you get so excited for the new crystals that you get i really hope you guys enjoyed and again happy holidays. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. I hope everyone has an amazing and blessed New Year's. Set your intentions. Start manifesting for the new year. It is a new year, so anything goes. Definitely put out your hopes, your dreams. We all have things and goals that we're trying to accomplish. Definitely set them for the new year, and I will see you guys back on this channel in the new year, as well as I will see you in my lives back in the new year. So happy holiday once again, and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.